Welcome to my petting zoo. I've collected my favorite marketing pet peeves from all around the world for you to see. Our first stop on the tour is a marketing guy who's boasting about his launch sales and the launch results. He's also known with his scientific name, Bostimus Badatmathemus. Now, he could, for example, say that I made $2.5 million in seven days. And it's technically sort of true, but, and it definitely sounds very impressive, but if you start looking at the numbers and, and really understand what's behind them, it turns out it's not as not nearly as impressive as it sounds at first. Now, a few basics about that number. First of all, it means there are no refunds and no cancellations. Let's also assume that one third of the people buy with a paying full option and the rest with a 12 month payment plan. Uh, let's also say that 15% of people ask for a refund right away and 5% of those who pay with a payment plan also cancel at some point. And just to keep the math a little simpler, I'll say that they cancel it immediately, but it makes it sound a little worse than what it might actually be in reality. But then again, I'm not gonna count in every little expense, so it sort of evens out. Also, let's assume that 80% of sales come from affiliates, 10% from their own list, and another 10% from cold advertising. So let's look into the numbers. So first of all, refunds and cancellations take out 500,000. Then affiliates will get half of the sales they generated. There's also an affiliate manager or management company that gets 5% of the sales that the affiliates create. Then there's uh, affiliate prices, let's say 200,000 for extra motivation for the people to spend their lists obnoxiously. Then there's 100,000 that went into advertising, not just to cold advertising, but also retargeting people who came from their own list or were already otherwise in their audience or who came into the launch from affiliates. Another 15,000 into ad management, maybe 30,000 to video production, and maybe another 20,000 to copywriting, 20,000 to design and funnel page setup, and 2.5% into payment processing fees, a couple thousand dollars a month into software, and about $50,000 per month into their team's salaries. And since it's taken several months for them to prepare for the launch and a few months to actually deliver what they promised, we'll just round it out into a year. And often they would do this sort of a launch once a year anyway. And then they're left with the profit of $28,500, which isn't too bad, but if you divide it into a whole year, that's $2,375, which doesn't sound nearly as good as 2.5 million in seven days. Obviously, they can sell other things between these launches. They can promote other people or they can sell other products as well. So it's not like they will actually live off just the $2,300 a year and attributing all the team's salaries into this one launch is maybe a little misleading. But then again, a lot of the same people don't really sell anything else other than just their own launches. So it's not too far off the truth. And overall, the numbers, none of them are very good, but they're also not unrealistic at all. These are not even the worst case scenario by any means. 80% uh, from affiliates is a pretty high percentage, but other than that, we're not even close to the high end of the spectrum and still we get to a pretty miserable outcome here, which is why I always focus much more on profit. Revenue is an okay number, but talking about the sales, which means including all the future payments from people who bought now, not necessarily, but that's what it often means. That can be extremely misleading. So I always ask about profit. Usually I only talk about profit, like as in how much do my clients increase profit within a year rather than how much revenue they get more and so on. And keep that in mind when you think about your own stuff as well. Focus on the profit, then think about revenue and only see sales as more of this feel good number that you can use for boasting at your friends. But yeah, a few more interesting uh, facts about Bostimus bad at Mathemus. So first of all, they are very widespread all around the world. They are not endangered at all. They're more like seen as a sort of an annoying pest that isn't that bad. It's kind of like dandelions. They're not necessarily the worst thing, but it's a little annoying if there isn't space for anything else than that. Their typical meal, they're fairly omnivorous, they're gonna eat pretty much anything they can get to, but the most common meal is someone who's a little newer to business, who doesn't really recognize that 2.5 million in sales doesn't necessarily mean 2.5 million in profit. Now, one thing that's a very common misconception is that their products and services are bad quality. Not necessarily. Some of them sell very good quality things. But there's a very common problem, which is that they don't clarify clearly enough who should buy it. Rather, they will try to make it sound like it's good for everyone, as if it was a one-size-fits-all type of thing. Instead of making clear that if you're in this sort of situation, this is good, but if you're in this other sort of situation, this won't be good, or that you need to know how to do X, Y, and Z before this is going to work for you. So that's why they often end up with a very small percentage of people being very happy with what they bought, but it's not necessarily, sometimes yes, but not necessarily that the product itself would be bad. Now, one more interesting thing is their mating call. It usually comes indirectly. It comes from the affiliate manager or affiliate management company. And it goes something like this. 
Hey first name, you've probably heard of Bostimus' recent launch that made 2.5 million in just 7 days. He's doing another launch in 9 months, so make sure to block off 4 weeks from your promotional calendar. We'll be including $200,000 in special affiliate prices for those with the largest email lists and the willingness to spam their audience obnoxiously about Postimus' launch. You should also start thinking about what bonuses you could add in to push people over the edge. Since the offer will be $2,000, we recommend you add in at least $20,000 worth of your own stuff on top. Thanks again for your support in 9 months, let's make it a huge success for Postimus so he can brag about it to his friends. If there's anything you need from us in terms of helping you make us more money, just let us know. We're here to help you help us. Bostimus batatmathemus is easy to confuse with a close relative from the same genus, relies on Longimus. The difference is that relies on doesn't brag about his sales numbers. He might share those numbers, but he's usually much more open about the reality behind them. And it's not to brag, it is to educate, it is to give a sense to people of what, what it is like to do that thing. Where Bostimus specifically does launches to create those really cool looking numbers, relies on Longimus does launches because what they sell typically makes a lot of sense to sell in a narrow window of time. So it could be group coaching or something else where the cohort starts at a certain time. Now, if you have any questions or comments about Bostimus, you can leave them below. I'll try my best to answer them there. And we'll start moving on to the next enclosure, which is a little bit of a different one. It's a mythical book that a lot of marketing experts rely on and recite almost religiously. Now, if you want a free season pass to the petting zoo full of marketing pet peeves, all you need to do is click the subscribe button. And if you liked Bostimus, Bad at Mathemus, and this short presentation about it, please click the like button. It really helps me out, so I'm grateful if you do that. And that would be it. We'll start moving on to the next one. I'll see you there.